hello okay now in this video um, I would be going to show you the output characteristic curve how to draw the output characteristic curve as in the previous video we showed the transfer tra how to draw the transfer characteristic curve in LD spice so <coughs> in order to draw the output uh, transfer output characteristic curve of NJ fat we have to switch the DS VDS voltage source um against the drain current and we also have to sweep the gate to source voltage from zero volt to some point of negative values so if we can see the data sheet uh the data sheet says about the output characteristic curve the curve would see something like this that is the VGS is swept from 0 volt to minus 1.8 volt and D VDS is swept from 0 volt to 10 volt so we would do first of all like this simulate edit simulation command DC sweep VDS sweep would be linear starting from 0 volt up to 10 volt as in this is 10 volt and step would be 2 volt second source would be VGS same linear and starting from 0 volt up to minus 1.8 volt and with the increment of the the increment is here is 0 0.3 volt as you can see minus 0 0.3 volt so the increment is 0 0.3 volt and that is it that is it now we have commented this uh, temperature uh, stepping because here in the data sheet they have not simulated the temperature they have swept the VGS and VDS only so we have commented this temperature sweep now let's uh, check the results simulate run here as you can see this is the transfer characteristic curve which does not uh, seem to be like uh, this one as a bit of uh, inappropriate like something so let's try to reduce this uh, resistance to 10 ohm let's see what happens okay now this resembles perfectly fine okay so if we can see that at VDS equals to 2 volt 2 volt and VGS equal to 0 volt the current is somewhere between 6 and 9 milliampere that is around a little bit less than 9 milliampere so at VGS equals to 0 volt and uh, VDS 2 volt so VGS is equal to 0 volt how would we be going to know VGS 0 volt is green color line here we can see VGS equals to 0 is green color curve and VGS equal to minus 1.8 volt is the dark green color curve which we know that uh, the VGS is equal to at VGS equal to 0 the current is always maximum and as we increase the VGS to negative values, the drain current always be minimum. Okay, so let's see here. At uh, VGS equals to 0 volt and VDS equals to 2 volt, the current um, of the drain is 10 milliampere around and here as we can see that VGS at VGS equal to 0 volt and VGS equal to 2 volt the current is around 9 milliampere or something like this so if we can uh, lower this uh, resistance a further bit more and re-simulate here again would we would see that it is 10 milliampere so <clears throat> this is a pretty much good agreement between the uh, data sheet output characteristic curve and our simulation results are pretty much close to each other okay 
सो एट लेट्स से माइनस वन पॉइंट एट वोल्ट लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द करंट एट टू वोल्ट बी दिस इज ओनली अबाउट वन पॉइंट एट मिलियन एट एट मिलियन पे Now let's see at two volt and VGS one minus one point eight volt. This this is the curve, and this resembles to minus one point eight milliampere exactly as we can see. This is a one ah one point five volt level, one one point five milliampere, one point five milliampere. So this is around one point six milliampere, and we are getting it here is one point eight milliampere. So closely resembles. closely agrees with the data sheet as well i hope this video was also helpful for you guys uh, see you in the next videos take care thank you